What's up guys, welcome to another episode. You know, I get a lot of questions regarding SRS or airbag codes. Specifically, how do I pull those codes from my vehicle's computer if my airbag light is on or it's blinking? Uh, the short answer is you need a, a sophisticated scan tool to pull those codes from the vehicle's computer. Usually it's a tool that not only pulls airbag, but it also pulls ABS codes as well. Your normal $100 or less OBD2 scan tool just isn't sophisticated enough to pull those codes. But I will show how you can pull those codes, in this case from a Nissan Sentra, a uh, 2008 uh, Nissan Sentra 2 liter, the S model, without any scan tools whatsoever. Essentially what, we, what we'll be doing is putting the vehicle's computer into a diagnostic mode and we'll get a number of flashes and then we can look up those flashes and uh, the intervals between the flashes and figure out what's going on. It's easier than it sounds, trust me. Uh, so I'll go ahead, let's go ahead and begin the process, but real quick, two reasons why I think this is important. Number one, you can go ahead and learn your vehicle system and you know the problem before you bring it anywhere. Number two is to find out really if you're working with someone honorable or that's honest. You know, unfortunately, you have a lot of uh, uh, guys out there that will inflate the bill and you're paying a lot more money. If you know what's going on beforehand, uh, you know, really knowledge is power. I know we've all heard that, but it's true. You know, if you know what's going on beforehand, you can save yourself a lot of headache. You really can. Uh, it's just like anything else. Uh, and really bring it to a technician because airbag components, you don't want to mess around with this stuff. You got to know what you're doing. Uh, but at least you understand what's going on before you bring it somewhere. So any, anyone with the Nissan, feel free to send me a message and I'll upload a uh, something extremely similar to what you'll see on my Pinterest and Facebook pages. I plan to have a website up and going very shortly. You know, it's just finding the time to get everything up and going. But in the meantime, we can use Facebook and Pinterest and I can upload schematics and you can go ahead and see exactly what you're about to see for your vehicle. So that being said, let's go ahead and let's begin. All right, guys. So now what we need to do is enter the diagnostic mode. Now to do that, go ahead and turn the key to the on position. Don't crank the car. Just turn it to the on position. Now once this airbag light goes off, we're going to turn off the ignition. Like so. And wait for at least three seconds and we'll repeat the process. So again, once the airbag light goes off, turn off the ignition. Turn it off, and then we'll need to wait again at least three seconds, and we'll do this one more time. So again, once the airbag light goes off, turn off the ignition, now when we turn it back on, we'll be in the diagnostic mode and we'll see a code. So you turn the ignition back on and let's see what we get here. So now the next step is matching the flash pattern that we see here. Now this happens to be a copy of the uh, factory repair manual. And in most of my videos, I highly stress on obtaining the, the repair manual for your vehicle because essentially it's written by the engineers that built and, and designed your vehicle. And you can pretty much tackle any problem. So what we need to do here is match the flash pattern. So for example, if we take a look on top here, this horizontal line on top is when the airbag light is on, and then the bottom line is when it turns off, okay? So when you first turn on the ignition key, it's the airbag light turns on for seven seconds, then it turns off for two seconds, and then it's on for one and a half seconds, turns off, immediately goes back on again for one and a half seconds, turns off, and then, in this case, three flashes, three continuous flashes, and then turns off and the pattern repeats. But we're not seeing three flashes. We're seeing, in fact, this guy right here. We turn on the key, the, uh, the ignition key, the airbag light turns on for seven seconds. It turns off for two seconds. 
Then for one and a half seconds, the light turns on, turns off, turns back on for one and a half seconds, turns off. Then we have one flash and then the pattern repeats. This is exactly what we're seeing here. So in this case, this happens to be the front right hand side airbag module. And then of course the manual, you can go throughout the manual and it'll explain different things you can check if uh, you really wanted to. But again, if, if you've never done anything with airbags, don't even chance it, just bring it to someone. Uh, so at least this gives you an idea of how you can go ahead and do this. And as you can see, it's very, very simple. Um, so I hope this helps some of you guys out there. Again, anyone out there with a Nissan, feel free to send me a message. Again, just tell me what model uh, year uh, Nissan you have and I can uh, obtain the info for you and uh, Yeah, hopefully this this helps some of you out there any questions just leave it below and uh, We'll see you next time